In today's video, we're opening up a $5,000 Yu-Gi-Oh collection. Time to do, 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 do. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. In this video, I will be opening up a collection that I'm actually consigning for a viewer. But before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. We have the Gaia, Dark Paladin, and Dark Magician from LOB. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite card in this collection. There's a lot of nice ones, let's get into it. Okay, so inside this box, we have a pretty nice collection that I'm gonna be opening up and I'm gonna be selling for a viewer. So if you guys are interested in any of these cards, they will be for sale. By the time you see the video, some of them may have sold because I usually start selling them before the actual video comes out, but there should be some stuff left. So hit me up if you guys are interested in that. Check out my Instagram. That's where I'll be posting it at Ruxin34 and let's get into it. All right. He actually sent us a uh, little bit of a bonus here. We have a Cocoon of Evolution. That seems to be the only card. I don't think there's an extra card. So Cocoon of Evolution, no Pequeno Moth hidden in there. Just making sure. Let's go through. There's only 71 cards here. It's a pretty high end collection. It's a, like pretty uh, decent value per card, which is the kind of stuff that I would be willing to consign. So if you guys are interested in consigning more high end collections like PSA cards or high value singles, then hit me up. I, I wouldn't do stuff like really cheap because it's like a ton of work and you make like 12 cents per card or whatever. So if you are interested in consigning, I might do that. It's not something I do a ton, but I am open to possibly doing it if you have some PSA cards you want to sell. Not necessarily PSA, but graded cards you want to sell. So if you guys are interested in that, send me an email to rodneyruxon34 at gmail.com. Instagram would work as well, at ruxon34. Let's start going through these cards. There's some really nice stuff here. Let's start off. All of these have, uh, are these pull tabs? Do you make these into pull tabs? Or did he tape them? He taped all of them. This is gonna be, this is gonna be fun. Okay, so, uh, Lightning Vortex right off the bat. I'm not gonna check out every single card, but I was already looking at this card, eyeballing it a little bit while I was talking. That is a really nice looking ultimate rare check that out wow lightning vortex beautiful beautiful card i'm gonna have to go through all these cards and like double check conditions and stuff like that before we get to selling them but very awesome lightning vortex is just a great way to start okay ring of destruction that is an unlimited no wait no it's this is a retro pack too there are actually a couple of these i think so we have a second retro pack and then he had a play set of retro pack ring of destruction this is a card i've never actually seen before in person it's kind of one that i forget is a retro pack secret it's kind of random that they put a uh, ring of destruction in there but i guess at the time it was still was it banned at this point or did they errata they might have eroded it around then i'm not sure let's read it destroy one face of monster inflict damage no nope, that seems like the original print okay i just want to look at this a little bit closer okay let's just look at one of these secret rare it looks pretty cool it you can almost get the secret rare to completely disappear i didn't know no, not not anymore blue eye shining dragon or ring of destruction which do you prefer okay that's a stupid question i mean obviously i think i know what you guys are gonna pick but that's a really nice looking card as well next up we have another play set and this is a pretty awesome one i don't think i've ever actually owned these either which i don't now obviously because they're consigned but pot of duality ultimate rare play set we're talking one two three you can play all of them you can then activate this and hopefully in master rule they'll chain max c and it'll be perfect i remember when i first used this in auction series i didn't know that you couldn't special summon <laughs> kind of the main restriction of the card pot of duality ultimate rare very beautiful these cards look absolutely sick all right let's get one more look of the play set you know imagine you draw three of these and you're like crap i only need one but <laughs> there would be a cool looking hand though how about that these look really nice any difference between the three prints i feel like this middle one looks a little different maybe it should no i think it's just the angle next up we have another play set it's chaos sorcerers these are from turbo pack 2 we actually i think pulled a couple of, did we pull a couple of these i think i pulled one for kaz actually i think is when we pulled one yeah i didn't get to open a lot of turbo pack 2 so i didn't actually pull many myself or any myself i did pull one for kaz though these are like a goat format staple for a long time these were the high rarity of chaos sork there's some other good options as well but i think this is one of the highest rarities looks like the play sets have ended we have an ultimate rare mystical space typhoon this is kind of a weird high rarity card it looks pretty cool but it's a little bit dark so it, it's specific to people's taste some people don't like this some people do i do like it i think it shines actually pretty well when you hit it in the right light it's kind of nice dark blue there looks pretty beautiful so the astral pack mystical space typhoon and here we have an ultimate rare sacred phoenix of nephthys this is one of my favorite cards this card looks so cool sacred phoenix ultimate rare from flaming eternity let's take a closer look at this guy so i don't think this one's in like great condition if you guys can tell already ready but these things are triple sleeved okay yeah the edges are not awesome but this is still in the sleeve by the way it's in the small sleeve but really beautiful card even in that condition very very nice sacred phoenix of nephthys 
boys. We're back to the play sets. We have three Threatening War. These are champion pack. These are pretty nice as well. Just super rares, but a lot of the champion pack cards that are really expensive are actually just supers. Probably because this did not have a foil print for a long time. I think it came out in Flaming Eternity as a common. And then uh, they got this champion pack seven print a couple years later. And this was the one that you wanted to play in your high rarity go format and stuff like that decks. Then we have another playable card, an ulti terraforming. So this card is still pretty useful to this day. I think it got banned in Master Duel. Did it get banned in the TCG? I can't remember. It's definitely at one at wherever it is, even legal. So a very, very cool card. Ultimate rare. It's always been pretty expensive because getting field spells is just really, really good for a lot of different decks. So ultimate rare printing very nice then we've got a card that i love to play the fossil dino patchocephalo this card's hilarious in edison uh you flip it up and it destroys all their special summons monsters or you just summon it and they can't even special summon it's a very annoying card but it's pretty funny when you play it and they're like are you kidding me you're playing this card very nice it's a couple of them are first dead yeah one's unlimited very very beautiful it's a secret rare from light of destruction so talk about a very rare set so secret rare one of the highest rarities in the set pretty hard card to come by so not bad at right there oh and this one's bringing back bad memories instant fusion this was oh these foreign oh interesting i didn't realize that so i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to get back to them because i didn't actually realize these were foreign i don't think at the time these are a little bit different when it comes to like actual pricing obviously foreign's a little bit harder to move but also this card brings back bad memories because the twitch chat made me invest in this card when we knew it was gonna go down the whole time even they knew they made me buy it because i let them decide they voted ultra rare they look cool i'll say that but it's just a good chance it gets banned. I'm not even sure that's not banned right now. I think it's at one or something. I don't know. And speaking of, okay, I don't know why those, I said speaking of. These are definitely not banned. But Enemy Controller, very cool first edition Ancient Sanctuary. It's still usable every once in a while in some certain decks. So it's a pretty crazy card from back then. And uh, it's a classic anime card. Up, down, left, right, A, B. Kaiba definitely rocked that card. Then we have... The Legendary Pot Agree, just an unlimited here out of the Duelist Pack Kaiba. First ed is pretty crazy. I think it's like 200 bucks. So this one's more like 30, 40, 50, something like that. I think it might even be 50, which is, I mean, that's pretty high for a card that's been banned since the beginning of time, but it's so iconic. It's available in some older formats. So, you know, there's some value there. Back to more champion pack. We have Prohibition, a play set, super rares. I did pull some of these. I pulled one or two when we opened champion pack six or eight. I mean, sorry, not six. This is the one with Illumina. Yeah, Prohibition. It's a pretty good card. It's a fair servant rare originally so it's a very very old card got that champion pack reprint and if you do play this card you want that hollow champion pack version back to the goat stuff we got a couple souks so ultimate rare sukiyomis from astral pack are these foreign as well i don't remember him marking them foreign so it, it doesn't really matter because it's a consignment anyway so it's not like i bought it or anything but i just didn't realize these were foreign so sukiyomi it appears to be english because it's the same name but then you go down here and you're like wait what does that mean that is not same magician so really cool cards and honestly the four ones kind of have a little bit more pop to them i think so i think that's probably why people play those then we got a couple gaga -ga -ga cowboys a little burn at the end of the game you know gaga -ga -ga cowboy for game it's a classic moment uh, okay maybe not a classic moment but you you might remember it happening to you it might be rough you know one of the early xc's monsters it's actually pretty solid it's got a couple of good effects that burn effect can be good that boost effect can be good pretty cool another play set we got pot of desires another one that we had to invest in in our uh, 1k this one isn't as bad but still it's i think it's limited or it's down to semi-limited or what it's definitely not semi-limited it could be limited very crazy cards i don't know why i'm flipping this around but beautiful more pot of greeds you know updates the pot of greed because pot of greed is just too good so we had to do that version even though that could be better than pot of greed in certain decks then we got speaking of drawing cards the upstar goblin this is a super rare from turbo pack pretty awesome looking print i don't know i think this is the highest rarity in terms of like hollows at all except for legendary collection yugi's world is like an ultra this is obviously a lot older so it's a little bit more valuable we got another play set we got the scapegoats these are not the highest rarity because they got retro pack one so it's hard to beat that but these are the ultimate rare print so they are pretty cool another one that's kind of dark and a little bit weird like some people like them some people don't but they're pretty nice looking they're pretty clean i'll say i remember pulling some of these we were opening some of these ots packs a couple of years ago then we have some more ultimate rares monster reincarnation these are really cool rise of destiny ultis first edition they're very very nice this is a card you don't see that often like it's a it's just a regular rare in rise of destiny so it's like a retail ultimate rare and it's really really nice it's actually decent in some formats and stuff so it's actually a crazy card you just don't really see it that often because those retail ultis can be hard to find because a lot of them are garbage and then like there's so many different retail ultis it's hard to pull a specific one here's a cool one we got the power tool dragon ultimate rare this is not a first ed but still really cool i mean it's not the ghost either because there's so many different versions you know we got the ultra ulti and the ghost but still a beautiful looking 5ds synchro monster i love ultimate rare synchros they look awesome not as good as ghosts i mean those look 
insane some of my favorite rarities now we got thunder king ryo very very nice thunder king ryos these are beautiful thunder king ryo got expensive for a while because it, it got like used in a ycs or something like it's such an old card but it got used and these are some of the highest rarity there's like the ultimate rare as well but this version i don't even know what this stands for it's like some sort of like magazine or something like that but the secret rare on this version looks incredible so i probably like it better than the ulti i'm not gonna lie all right look ring of destruction has returned this is a first dead ultimate rare. we've seen ring of destruction we've already seen the secret so we'll keep going past those we got a couple of machine duplications you're trying to play those cyber dragons here you go ultimate rare first edition from rise of destiny also retail ultis in rise of destiny there's some crazy retail ultis in rise of destiny then we have a raigeki ultra rare from retro pack one so speaking of retro pack one of those scapegoats there's a raigeki from that oh, i was foreign okay foreign so not as crazy as i was thinking but still pretty crazy retro pack english is just nuts we got utopia the lightning an ultimate rare from uh this is like one of the newer cards ots 9 it looks like so which at this point is like 13 ots's away an ultimate rare mystic swordsman unlimited but nice for the warrior deck and goat format so also pretty beautiful i have a couple of these myself three trap dust sheets what version is this dual terminal interesting dual terminal so instead of champion pack you have the dual terminal versions these are ones i don't think i've ever actually seen so probably pretty rare there as well then we have the ultimate rare first edition creator this man has a lot of rise of destiny he has like all the best cards out of rise of destiny the creator cover card very awesome looking card you love to see that guy I mean, he's just so iconic. He's not very good, but he is very cool looking. Very collectible, I'll say that. Now we got some more drawing ability. We have the Graceful Charity Secret Rare from Legendary Collection Yugi's World. You'll be shocked at how expensive this is. Like 40 bucks or something, maybe even 50 from Yugi's World First Edition. There, some of those First Edition Yugi's World cards are crazy. We got Change of Heart Secret Rare, another Yugi's World card. Same thing with this one. I think it's like 30 or 40 bucks. Pretty wild. Then we have Dimension Fusion First Edition from IOC. We pulled one, graded it, an eighth. That was awesome. Don't worry, we have two and we have three here. So a play set of those if you guys want to go crazy still banned i believe so 2004 to now pretty long time i don't think it got banned right away but later in 2007 or something it got banned still several more cards we've got a retro pack one solemn judgment this one is english so we got a super rare retro pack one solemn judgment beautiful super a lot of prince of solemn judgment now but this is probably one of the rarest now if you want to link one you got the link spider 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 that's a different card that's from stardust overdrive link spider though ultimate rares ots7 i believe i think i remember opening for this yeah ots7 link spiders those are really cool we got a sun dragon inti and it wouldn't be the same without the moon dragon quilla two first edition ultimate rares those are really nice looking cards i really like the moon i think sun and moon a little pokemon action going there then we have a ghost rare i think it's the only ghost rare we have the odin Fox. Father Yacer, Unlimited, very beautiful as well. Gotta love a good Ghost Rare. I mean, it's not a great collection without a Ghost Rare in there somewhere, right? Beautiful, beautiful Hollow, looks awesome. Then we have a Jinzo from Retro Pack 2. We've pulled a couple of these in our day. Very nice looking card. The clouds in the background look very menacing with this Hollow Rare. It looks really, really nice. And finally, we have one more card. We have the Master Collection 2 Blackluster Soldier on the beginning. One of the better looking Blackluster Soldiers, even though it's not that crazy expensive, but this is a really nice Secret Rare card. BLS feels like there's like half a goat deck in there so if you guys enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you guys are interested in any of these cards hit me up on instagram or through my email and if you want to consign as well hit me up and we can talk about it and see if it'll work out for both of us shout out to toe info show daxter jt cho puffins of doom ernesto deanna america doister supreme sage 21 cj leo gwine 62 another tie show ian musa junior barney mimic gecko and robert f thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video peace